Hey there, and welcome to my channel. My name's Pam, and I blog over at Greenily, Your Family Only Greener, and I also am here on YouTube sharing super easy ways that you can incorporate Living Greener into your busy family every day. So today is a video about trash bags, which is a follow-up to a, a previous video I did where I, I talked a little bit about why I wanted to try to find an eco-friendly trash bag when trash really isn't eco-friendly to begin with, which seems like a weird thing, but I wanted to try to challenge myself to do trash in a greener way. Again, I know that sounds weird, but anyway, so um, I tried out three different garbage bags um, to see how they worked and I purchased them based on the fact that they were kind of eco-friendly. So I will link to that video um, here so you can take a look at it and learn a little bit more about, um, you know, trash bags and landfills and stuff like that. So you can kind of check that video out. But today I'm going to share with you what I thought of each of the three trash bags that I tried out. So the first one I want to talk about is this trash bag from seventh generation. And the reason I bought this to try, um, cause it fits in the eco-friendly category is because it's made with 55% recycled plastic. So it's not made entirely from virgin new brand new made plastic, which, um, is on the eco-friendly side because it's not using fossil fuels resources to create new plastic. Instead, it's only using some new plastic. So I tried these out. Um, I'll include the link to all three trash bags below. Um, if you want to try them out yourself. Um, so this is just a regular white bag. It feels like a trash bag. Um, it to me was a little bit on the weak side. So we compost all of our food waste. And so I don't usually have food scraps in my trash can that's separated out into a different bin. So, but this one just was a little bit thin. Um, we do have trash. We're a family of five. So we have, you know, about one bag, maybe a little bit less than one bag of trash a week. So um, it just felt thin. It was not my favorite of the three. So it wasn't bad. It just wasn't um, great. So I probably won't repurchase these. Um, but again, I will include the link below in case you want to check them out. Um, they are, you know, eco-friendlier in that they're not made from 100% new plastic. So that was the seventh generation uh, trash bags. These were the 13 gallon size bags, which fits my trash can. Okay. So next I tried, um, by the way, I didn't, I can't find any of these in stores just so you know, I had to, I had to order them on Amazon, which I'm, I'm okay with. Um, I guess, <laughs> I guess, and I guess I'm then paying more in transportation costs to get stuff shipped to me, which probably isn't eco-friendly, but, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my best. So anyway, so I can't find these in stores. Maybe you have them near you. I, I don't. Um, okay. Anyway, the next bag I tried is this hefty renew, um, garbage bag. And it is again, the 13 gallon it's scent free. This one's made from 65% recycled plastic. So I guess a little bit more than the seventh generation bags. These are to me just like a, a total regular trash bag. They're, they're, Thick. They held up to whatever trash we had in the bin. Um, they they do come in a, a white version, um, just so you know. I, but these were totally fine. Um, I would definitely purchase these again, especially if I walked into my grocery store and they were on the shelf and I was out of garbage bags. I would feel good about purchasing these. So I think these were the cheapest of the three. Um, so that's something to consider too. I don't remember the prices offhand, but again, I'll link to everything and you can check it out on your own. So the hefty renew garbage bags, give those a thumbs up. I definitely didn't purchase those. So, okay. So my favorite bag, if you can have a favorite trash bag, I do, um, are these, um, again, 13 gallon bags made from hippo sack. And I almost didn't order these. I don't know why I was looking online and these popped up and these are awesome. I love these. First of all, they're made from plants. Uh, I did um, check the company's website and um, it's uh, like sugarcane based, but it, there's no plastic 
use to make these, which is awesome. Again, check out the video I um, I did you know, that's related to this one to kind of learn a little bit more about why, but so no plastic as users, no fossil fuels, no resources being used to create this bag. So that is to me awesome. Um, I also did reach out to the company. Um, they do, um, you know, they're very sustainable in the way they manufacture um, and are, are very envi environmentally um, conscious. And so to me, that's all part of, you know, a product being eco-friendly. It's not just, you know, what it's made of or how do I get rid of it after the fact, but also the company itself and kind of what their um, kind of mission is with regard to the environment. And so Hipposac um, really seems like they're definitely looking out for the environment, which to me means this is an eco-friendly product. So um, these are um, great. They're, again, they feel just like a regular trash bag. They don't feel flimsy. They don't feel like they're going to break. They don't feel like, um, you know, your trash is going to be all over the ground when you take it out. Um, they have these really nice handles, which on their website are, they tout these as being nice to your hands. They have this um, reinforced bottom. Um, these, I actually, I accidentally put one of these in my compost bin, um, which I sort in my kitchen. And uh, so this had a ton of food waste in it and it did fine. It didn't leak, um, it didn't break. Um, I think I did actually put the seventh generation bag accidentally in my compost bin too, and that didn't work out well. It leaked, um, it was a bad scene, but these um, I actually, had a ton of food waste and it gets heavy after a week because we you know we sort all of our food waste it's not just a backyard composter our compost goes to like an industrial um composting facility so we can put everything in it wet you know paper dirty paper towels we don't use paper towels but any like dirty paper um all food waste you know and everything and these bags held up so i have to say out of the three that i tested when I want an eco-friendly trash bag, because we're going to have trash, I am definitely reaching for the hippo sack bags. They were really, really good. So um, I hope that mini review is is helpful for you if you're in the market for an eco-friendly trash bag. Um, hopefully these these kind of tidbits about all three of these come in handy. And if you were not thinking about trash bags, or eco-friendly trash bags, maybe now you are, because I think you can put an eco-friendly green twist on everything. That's what I'm all about. And I love swapping out products that I already use and, you know, trying to find something that's a little bit, even if it's a teeny bit more eco-friendly, I think it's worth it. And so I'm going with these eco-friendly trash bags because they worked for us. It was easy. Uh, for me, the switches have to be easy or my family is going to lose their mind, <laughs> which isn't good. No, I'm just kidding. No, it was easy. And so I really like easy swaps that are eco-friendly. So anyway, I hope that again, that was helpful and that you will consider subscribing to my channel, ring the bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. So anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.